everyone. Um, I have missed you all. Not doing live. So I'm so glad that I'm able to do the live today again. Um, so if you want to, I want to talk about today breast health and uh, breast cancer awareness. Did you know that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month? So we are coming up shortly for that. And you may already have seen some posts from us about the seminar that's coming up uh, for breast cancer awareness. Why is this important? What do you have to know about um, breast cancer? And uh, what do you have to know about breast health? There is a lot to know. So that's the reason why I'm actually um, even doing this live today about that. Um, we kind of, uh, you know, from what I have seen in my years of being in practice is that we as human beings don't usually do anything about it until there is something that, um, oh, I'm sorry, um, until something comes up and uh, causes some problems. Maybe, you know, there's a lump or there's some pain or maybe there's some tenderness or maybe there's some heaviness. The moment any of these things happen, people usually start you know looking into it and wanting to take care of it and all that but until then it seems like we don't really do anything about it uh, even when we actually go for our yearly mammograms and all of that what does it actually tell us and do we really know enough about our breast health um, and what can we do to help ourselves be healthier overall because breast cancer is um, the second um, major cancer in the United States um, only after skin cancer of course you know most people know how to prevent skin cancer don't get excessive amounts of sun exposure um, and do things for that but how many of us really know what we can do to prevent breast cancer so we have been told nothing we have just been told that you just go for your exams and then we will tell you when there is cancer and that's truly not prevention you know that's only um, diagnosis and once diagnosis happens we all know how stressful that can be and how much people actually start fearing for their life because sometimes these cancers can be very invasive and uh, when they are invasive they can really cause some issues and even if they are not invasive most cancers uh, most breast cancers especially um, cause a lot of financial stress physical stress um, loss of body parts and uh, lots of uh, you know um, crisis that comes with that right you know whether um, with our family whether we're going to be with them or what are we going to take you know what are we going to do about it what are, we, what are things that we need to take care of there's just so much to it and I've always seen this in my practice that people the moment they actually feel something or they go for their yearly mammogram and uh, there is something that they see, now they are freaking out. And now they want to prevent something from happening. Is that a time where we can do something about it? For sure, absolutely. The good news is that our bodies are extremely resilient, which means that there are a lot of things that we can do at any point in time. But wouldn't it be better for us to know ahead of time what we need to do? And that's what I'm gonna talk about today. So, uh, how many of you really do a breast exam, a self exam on a regular basis. So if this is not something that you do, you must start doing it. In the shower, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just in the shower, just massaging and feeling, you know, the tissue to see if it is soft, like, you know, you just actually press that way and just notice what's happening. That's all, it's just another body part. And uh, it is just something that you all have to know and see if it is soft, if it is um, you know, not non-tender or not tender, uh, if there is any kind of tissue that's hard or if there is anything that's actually swollen um, and also the armpits. It's very important to do these things. And even if you don't do it every day, you should at least make it a point to do it once a week because you know it's easy to forget um, you know, if I say once a month and that's what is usually recommended, but I always say once a week. Why? because it also gives us information about what happens to the breast tissues 
before period, during period, and after period. And these are things that you need to really pay attention to because breast health is not just in, uh, it's not just looking at the breast alone. There is a lot of hormonal influence on our breasts as well. And that's the reason why you know there are some estrogen dominant cancers and they have to do with hormonal aspects of it. So we need to know what's happening to the breast tissue before the period, during that period, even you know during ovulation as well as after. And so doing this once a week at least, maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday, you know, whatever your day off is, you just put it in your mind that that's a day that, and I actually wash my hair probably, I will actually do a self-exam. So if you wash your hair twice, then you do it twice. You know, it doesn't matter, but it just make, make it a point of doing that on a regular basis. So you will actually get to learn a lot about it. The second thing that you can do is attend our breast cancer awareness seminar that's coming up completely free uh, on October 3rd at 2.30 p.m. at the John and Judy Gay Library in McKinney, Texas. And this uh, in a meeting room, and uh, this is going to be absolutely informational because I can't really share a lot of information just here because um, you know it's, it's with presentations and we actually do quite a bit of things. And that is something that I put together only for you to get educated on what you can do. What are first things that could actually contribute to somebody um, having issues with their breasts? Second is what are the things that we can do to prevent, right? And what are the things that you need to know in order for you to not ever have to worry about it? And in people who actually have had a, a bad mammogram or even, you know, had an ultrasound and they're concerned, what are the things they can do to kind of, you know, improve their breast health. So all of these things we are going to talk about in that seminar. So uh, if you go to our events page right here on our Facebook group or the event bright link that we have been posting, you can actually go and RSVP on that because the space is limited and we will run out and we run out, we, you won't be able to attend that. Um, at this time, we are not really uh, doing any kind of uh, online for that at the moment, um, but um, hopefully we'll be able to come up with something. But that's something that you can actually do. The third thing is, as we had posted before, your breast is uh, lymphatic. You know, it has a lot of lymphatic uh, tissues, or it's a lymph it ha it consists of a lot of lymphatic tissues. So, which means that we have done a lot of uh, Facebook lives and posts about taking care of your lymphatic system. Even our last podcast was about that. So, why is that important to take care of? Because if your breast consists mostly of lymphatic tissue. And if you don't take care of your lymphatic system, how can you take care of your breast? How can you actually have breast health? So this is a very important aspect of it that you need to start paying attention and understanding as well. And there is so much more to this um, that we need to talk about as well, which we will do in the seminar. And the fourth thing that I would suggest you to start doing is taking care of your teeth. This is another important aspect of it. Um, because your dental health, your oral health, your gum issues, all of these things can contribute uh, in a good way or a bad way to many chronic diseases, not just breast cancer, but for many chronic diseases. So it will be absolutely essential for us to take care of our teeth as well and not just look at one part of the body. And that's important to understand that breast health is not just looking at the breast or um, imaging just the breast and understanding it. Breast cancer is a multifactorial problem and breast health is a multifactorial thing as well, which means that we need to look at many different aspects in order for us to understand what the breast tissue is doing and if there is a chance for somebody developing breast cancer or not. And also, multifactorially, we need to treat it as well in order for us to avoid that as well. And did you know that um, most people, actually more than 80% of people who end up with breast cancer do not have any family history? So don't wait for somebody in your family to get diagnosed with breast cancer to take care of things. Education is the key. Through education, you can get empowered. And when you know information, you can do something about it. This is not about fear. This is not about you becoming scared that oh my god i'm going to actually get it no that's not what this is about this is about understanding what are the things that actually contributes to it and taking action when we take consistent action in anything we can change anything in our body and that is the you know takeaway from this live 
it's not for you to be worried about it's not for you to actually stay in fear it is for you to know and take action so join us for the event if you haven't signed up yet go ahead and do that right away so we can actually see you live there and also you'll get so many questions answered um you know when you are there and of course you know as always i will definitely bring in a lot of information for you about your breast health and as much as all these years probably have heard of the breast um, health has to just do with your breast it's not true it has to do with many other things like your stomach your liver your uh, ovaries um, even sometimes actually the water you drink and your oral health so we'll talk about all of these things um, very soon in a couple of weeks so it's coming up so go ahead and join us um, in that seminar and I will see you there thank you so much for joining today I will see you in person soon